darkness has to bow, confusion has its final hour. Well, good morning, friends, and welcome to the Thursday Three. I'm Langdon Palmer, and I'm so glad you're with us. And I think many of us who came to Christ later in life might say that one of the reasons was we became convinced that there, there had to be more to the world than what we saw. But the physical world, as real as it is, wasn't enough, that there had to be something beyond. And we find that the Bible tells us that this physical world is contained within a much bigger reality. There is a heavenly realm, the supernatural realm, the realm of the holy And I think even as Christians who believe all the right things, we can sometimes feel cut off from the holy. We long to have a more intimate connection to what lies beyond. We seek a portal, a place where heaven and earth touch, a passageway from the merely physical. And in our hunger for the spiritual, we can sometimes believe that maybe the portal is found in that other church over there, or in this movement over here, or that particular spiritual practice, or this particular spiritual discipline, that's what will get us really connected to God. That's what will help us encounter God. The good news is the Bible says we can have access to the holy. There is a way to get there. But the thing is, The Bible also makes it clear over and over and over again in different ways with different words that there's only one place where that access can be found. There is one portal. There is one gateway. Listen to just these five examples. In John 10, 9, Jesus says, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. In John 14, 6, he says, No one comes to the Father except through me. In Matthew 27, 51, it tells us what was the result of the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Hebrews 10, 19 says, Therefore, brothers and sisters, we have boldness to enter the holiest, by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he consecrated for us through the veil. And Romans 5, 1 to 2 says, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Let's pray. O Jesus, we thank you that you made a way where there is no way. And we know that human beings are naturally religious and we're naturally seeking after all kinds of remedies and cures and tricks and new revelations trying to get access to the holy. And it's such a good desire to have, but we look for your love in all the wrong places. Thank you that you are the place where we can truly meet God. As we go out about our day today, Would you help us to keep our minds upon you, giving you praise and singing songs in our heart to you, the one who gives us access to God himself. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. The Lord bless you. Make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you, the Lord turn